Hey everyone, welcome back to another SAT math problem. So this one says a shipping service restricts the dimensions of the boxes it will ship for a certain type of service. The restriction states that for boxes shaped like a rectangular prism, which I've drawn one out here, it's a pretty good drawing actually, uh, the sum of the perimeter of the base of the box and the height of the box cannot exceed 130 inches. The perimeter of the base is determined using the width and length of the box. If a box has a height of 60 inches and its length is 2.5 times the width, which inequality shows the allowable width x in inches of the box? All right, so first off, let's label our diagram, right? So we know the height you give us is 60 inches, so let's just write 60 out here. Oopsies. There, 60. And then they also give us the width, which is x. Well, we don't really have a value for x, so we'll just label x out here. We know the length is 2.5 times the width, so we just write this as 2.5x, right? And now what we need to do is set up our inequality. So let's use green and write out 130, because it cannot exceed 130, right? And therefore, I'm going to write up the sign like this. But it can be equal to 130, it just can't exceed 130. All right, so now we need to find what the restriction actually is for the 130 inches, right? Well, it says right here, it's the sum of the perimeter of the base of the box and the height of the box. And so the height of the box, first off, we have a value of 60. So we have 60, and it's the sum, so we're going to add this to whatever we have with the uh, perimeter of the base of the box. So the perimeter of the base of the box is just that base, that one side, right? So that one side, we're going to have um, that length and that width. Um, however, there's that uh, other side I'm trying to make the drawing. So this is a three-dimensional object. So you have two widths in, in reality, right? So you have a width on this side right here, and you have a width on the other side. And the same thing with the length, right? So you have 2.5x on one side and 2.5x on the other side. And therefore, when we write our inequality to find the perimeter of that one you know, side, we can just double the ad addition of both the length and the width. And so we can write this as 2 times 2.5x plus x. All right, so now what we want to do is just expand this out. So 2 times 2.5x will just give us uh, 5x. And then 2 times x is going to be 2x. And so we get 7x over here. So in our equation, we're going to have 60 plus 7x, and that is going to be less than or equal to 130. And now we can just solve for x, right? Because x is going to be that width that we're trying to solve for. And so we can just subtract 60 on both sides, and we get 70 is greater or less than 7x. Divide both sides by 7, and we get x is less than or equal to 10. So we get this uh, inequality over here, and we want to match it up to the answer choices. So let's look at our answer, cho answer choices. So for A, we have 0 is, uh, sorry, x is uh, greater than 0, but uh, less than or equal to 10. Well, that actually lines up exactly with our equation, right? For all these inequalities, the minimum or x has to be greater than 0, which makes sense because you can't have a width of 0, right, for a uh, box like a rectangular prism and therefore since this part of the inequality matches up with what we have down here It's the same thing, but flipped um, our answer choice is going to be a